So I, I asked, I was like, I was like, so I got, a, I got a quick question for you. Are you single? She was like, yeah, why? And I was like, Or do I have a story for you? So, in this video, I'm going to take you through the journey of how one college girl started my whole self-love journey. Let's get it. So, to fully understand what I mean and how, how this experience impacted me, we have to go back. Back way back, back in the high school, right? So, but not really. But basically, before I got to college, there wasn't any girls that looked like the girls in college, right? What I mean is like, the best looking girl in my college was a white girl with a big butt. Now, you know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all good, you know. I, I, I like I like me some milk, some uh, some white chocolate too, you know what I'm saying. But that kind of gets you in the mindset of what I, what I mean, you know. So there was there was a lack of lack of baddies per se. I guess you can say that. But also, I was raised to find their brain attractive. So you could be like the cutest girl ever, right? The cutest girl, you can, you can be bad, but if you was like dumb, I'd be like, ew. Like, like you remember the little uh, math multiplication tables test we had? Like, if you was a girl and you finished first, instant crush, instant, instant crush. Like you have, you have, you have my heart. I am yours. It's something about math that you know turns me off. Stop it. Get some help. I'm also the kind of guy that's to himself. So I wasn't really quiet, but I wasn't out there. You know what I'm saying? I was like a class clown, but I wasn't the class clowns everybody I was in like the honors classes so I was the class clown in the honors classes if, th if that makes sense so when I got to my college which was Delaware State University you know what I'm saying you know what, what they do they be like stay oh you know I don't know that's what the girls be doing stay but I, I don't do that but but anyway anyway I got to Delaware State and I just seen like a plethora of just baddies, 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 baddies. And I was like, Damn! and I was, I was just starstruck, right? But, it, but at the end of the day, I came there for my education. So it wasn't like I was focused on these girls. It was just something to do. A brand new world. Brand new world, you know? I finally got to see what hourglass looked like and what slim thick really is. Like I never really got to see what slim thick really was in high school or at least I wasn't looking. But when I got to college, slim thick. Slim thick was the thing. You know what I'm saying? But let's get to the girl. So this girl, she was slim thick and I noticed she, she either sits by herself in Conrad. Conrad is the dining hall that I that I went to my freshman year. So she would either sit by herself in Conrad or she'll have her one friend. Now I'm not the kind of guy that just walks up to people or well walks up to girls and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. Right? So 
saying I admire her from afar. I told my friend about her. Like, man, yo, she look good. One day, I'm going to get over there and I'm going to get her number. Right? So, a couple days go by. I keep seeing her. One day, she's by herself. And we're in Conrad. And it's Sloppy Joe Day. So, I was like, oh, can't, can't go today. I'm just, Definitely sloppy Joe day. My my breath gonna stink. So I told my friend he was like, "Man, you being you being soft." I'm like, "Man, I ain't being soft. I'm just, it's I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? It's sloppy Joe day. I got probably got stuff in my teeth." And then the next day, she was with her friend. She was with her friend. So couldn't do it that day. But the next day. I'm not going to lie. I just didn't want it. I didn't feel like doing it. Okay? I didn't feel like doing it. But the day after that, this man, this man went up to her and said, hey, my bro wants to talk to you. So I'm like, oh, oh. I got to do this now. I got to do this right now. So I get up to her. Surprise, motherfucker. I ask her her name. She was like, her name is, well, I can't say her name. Let's call her Ashley. Okay. So her name was Ashley. Right. So so I was like, what's your major? She was like, mass comm. I was like, oh. Okay. At the time, I didn't really know what that was. But I acted like I did. So, I guess that, you know. Because it's not really a, in, a, in the, it's not in the sciences. So, I was familiar with the sciences. So, she said it was mass calm. I was like, yeah, so, I just thought you were cute. I didn't mean to my bro to come up to you and interrupt your, your lunch. But, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's my bro. He was just trying to look out for me. And I think you're cute, right? She was like, oh, I think you're cute too. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. But then, I didn't really know what to say. I didn't prepare. So, I was like, oh, well, uh, it was nice talking to you. Uh, I gotta go to class, so I'll see you later. And then I see you, and I forgot to get her number, so I didn't get her number that day. Well, I did later in the day, but we'll get to that. So, in my I went to, I was I lived in Towers, so in Towers we had like a game night, right? So we playing game night. My bro was with me, and he was like, "Ain't that uh, ain't that the girl we met in Conrad?" So I looked over and I was like, "Yeah, that's her." So I went up to her. I was like, "Hey, you know, I enjoyed our conversation, or lack of, in Conrad. Do you mind if I get your number?" She was like, sure. So I was like, (laughs) where's where's my phone? So my phone was on the couch. So I had to go get my phone. And then, so I got my phone. And I handed it to her. I put my my phone in. She was like, oh, you got an Android? That's cute. And I was like, yeah, you know. iPhones are for rich people. So I was like, "I I ain't rich. Yeah. So, she was giggling. She's like, oh, I guess. I was like, hey, man. It's whatever. So, I, she dialed her number in. And I started walking away. And then, I went to go in the elevator. And I dropped my phone. So, her number didn't say. So the battery fell out. <laughs> and I, I already know y'all laughing at me. Because the battery fell out. 
and I got an Android. It's not my fault. I should have had a case on it. I did not have a case on it. That's why the battery fell out. Okay? It's not because it's an Android. So, don't get your panties in the bunch. Okay? So, you know, I put the battery back in. Flip, flop, boppy dot. Bibbidi boop. All right? So, I get my phone. I was like, hey, sorry to interrupt your... She was microwaving some of her food. I guess she microwaving her dinner. Sorry to interrupt, interrupt you again. But, you know... My phone dropped and your number didn't save. So do you mind if I get it again? She was like, oh, boy, you so crazy. I'm like, mm, I guess. Can you, put, can you put put your number in? So she put her number in. I saved it in front of her. I was like, make sure that's saved. And I dipped. That week, I didn't really talk to her, but so I texted her like a little bit, but it wasn't like I didn't want to come off like needy. So I texted her like maybe like a couple times, couple couple messages, couple messages, and I added her on Snapchat. So she didn't know I added her on Snapchat. Her thing was like public, and I found out she got a whole boyfriend. Oh, hey yo, she had a whole boyfriend, and I'm like, okay. So what? What am I about to be? What? What? What am I doing? I'm. Not, I'm not saying I want to be her boyfriend, but I'm saying, am I? Am I going into this about to be like a, a sad dude, or like what? What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know. So a couple of days later. She was in Conrad, the dining hall I, I mentioned earlier. Remember that? She was in Conrad. And I, I was like, can I can I sit with you? She was like, of course. What's your name again? You can call me JJ. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. Nice to see you again, JJ. I was like, nice, nice to see you too, Ashley. So I, I asked, I was like, I was like, so I got, a, I got a quick question for you. Are you single? She was like, Yeah, why? And I was like, Cause I added you on Snapchat. And I seen you kissing this dude. And it said. Three months anniversary. She was like. Oh. I didn't know you added me on Snapchat. I'm sorry you had to see that. I was like. Hey you know. No big deal. No big deal. You know what I'm saying. It's my fault. For not telling you I'm adding you on Snapchat. Which is kind of like. I don't know why I'm apologizing for that, but I said it. I was young. I was dumb. And I said it, okay? So, I was like, yeah, but you know. So, are you, were you lying just now? She was like, okay. I'll tell you the truth. The truth is, I do have a boyfriend, but I don't really like him that much. I know I'm going to dump him soon, so I was like, might as well talk to other people. So I was like, so how many other people we talked to? She was like, just you. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Alright. But she was like she was like, Yeah, just you. And I was like, Okay. What makes me special though? She was like, Well, you're cute. And I was like, ah, thank you. She was like, Well, you told me the other day that you that you major in computer science. 
So you gotta be smart. So I was like, hey, you know, I try, I try, I try. So I, I thought that's perfect boyfriend material. So I was like, might as well dump him and give it you. And I was like, oh, really? And I was like, okay, uh, but what makes you think that I want to be your boyfriend? She was like, well, why'd you come up to me? I was like, man, I just want to talk to you. I'm not saying that I don't want to be your boyfriend, but I'm not saying I do. I just wanted to get to know you. Who am I? Who are you? Who are we? I'm just trying to figure it out. Right? And she was like, well, we can figure that out tonight. I was like, what do you mean? And she said these words right here. Do you want to come to my room tonight? So the camera cut off right when it was getting juicy. But if you enjoy the story so far, then you'll love part two. Because, you know, we got to find out what happened after she asked me to come over. I know you. I know y'all want to know want to hear about that. I know you do. I know you do. So tune in for part two next week. Make sure you like, subscribe, you know, throw me a comment, you know what I'm saying? Engagement is important, you know? See you later. What do you want from the boy? Trying to get to my bank just like I'm Lloyd, yeah. Cause she only got time. Only got time for stacks. Yeah, she only got time for stacks.